There's magic in the air. So here we are at El Pueblito in Santa Maria. Yeah. So, um, I hope people get sick looking at my face. Don't do that. El Pueblito is on Blosser and like if you go shoot westward down Main Street or Cook and then you go left on the Blosser. It's it's southbound on Blosser, but El Pueblito is Spanish for the little Pueblo. Mm -hmm. Aren't we kind of across the streetish from uh, the Walmart neighborhood market or just past? The yeah, we're right about that that neck of the woods. Um, of course, come out with chips right away. The chips are really good. They're uh, they let you salt them at your own liberty, and their salsa is really good. It's got it's like a perfect amount of heat. Like that doesn't light you up. Um, it's not super chunky, but I know some people like chunky salsa, some people don't. But we went ahead and ordered already. I kind of wanted to get a feel for the place before I started filming, but it's really cute. Like, like I mean that, like, like they got a cute, the walls are or a couple tones of orange. Um, that's kind of what the walls are like. This table's got this really cool gloss. I usually don't talk about the structure of the place, but this place is just, it's really cool. It's a cool little spot. I ate here once years ago for a buddy's wake, like I'm talking over a decade, and I just never got a chance to come around eating here. And Shalane and I were like, well, let's go somewhere that we haven't been together, and this is it. And so our food's coming out pretty quick, I think, and I'll show you what the food looks like. But El Pobito, it's been here for years. A place being here for years in Santa Maria where the competition is very high for Mexican restaurants means a lot. Like, because there's so many places people can... I mean, like, if you Google Mexican restaurants in Santa Maria, you'll... We spent all... Like I did when we were trying to figure out where to come, and it's a little overwhelming, all the options. Including Del Taco and Taco Bell. Well, come on. No. <laughs> Those are a separate category altogether, but there's at least 20 or so... Mexican restaurants like in the immediate area like you could walk out of one and probably throw a rock at another one that's how close they are well I could so can't throw very far no I can't yeah. oh that's okay him still love her 3,000 3,000 so food coming up pretty soon all right wet burrito Wet burrito with chicken, a quesadilla, combo fajitas, combo, combo fajitas, beans and rice. About to try everything. Bond.com. Mm -hmm. I watched a video of myself oh eating. My. Take a like a mud bath in this guac right here. It's so good. She might, and you can see that on Red Tube. And um, so I never. Uh, I, I watched myself eating on a video I did earlier. I was editing, and I was like, I don't like how I like eating, but so I'm gonna try to eat a little bit better, which sounds stupid to say. A little more demure. Yeah, a little more. That's a big word. <laughs> With a little more class, I guess. Cause I'm just I'm, I'm gonna take these quick little nami bites. How come none of y'all said anything before? Y'all just let me eat my food like a monster. But let me see if I can eat this. Case to deal with a little bit more. Your food, so I cares. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna. Oh, she's gonna hold it. Time to hold it down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look! Look at that cheese. Look at that. Bite with everything on it. Oh. That's good. It's got like that good blend of, I think mozzarella and I think Jack. She hasn't even dove into the feed. Oh, she didn't eat it straight up raw. Dog. So we're about to eat some more. I'll get into this and go right back. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this bite. <clears throat> into my mouth it took me like 30 seconds to get this bite ready to look right for this shot so I can just let's see here we go hmm 
And you managed to not get any of it in your beard, too. I'm so proud of you. Having a good tea is maintenance. Oh, that's their grilled chicken's really tender. I got the grilled chicken wet bread, wet burrito. Um, that's what's in my vaginas too. <clears throat> it's solid. My buddy Jeff Zarling always said you can judge a place by how good their beans are, and their beans are really good here. Did you put salsa? That's what's on your beans. Oh, there you go. Oh. They got hot sauce here. I might try it. We'll see. But it's so good just as the way it is. So I'm going to sit and dive into more. I cut into the middle so I can get right to the heart of it. I'm going to try to show you some of the innards of it. Of course, rice, bean, and cheese. Got it wet on top. Well, plates are about 13 bucks average, which for what you get, like this is a lot of food. And they, they you get the chips coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Considering what we spent like other places, like... It's it's a sit down. This is a nice sit down, like the environment too. So I'm gonna finish eating here and we'll wrap up the video for you. Yeah. So everything here's their guacamole is like super bomb, and the odds they make it here are really high. Um, it tastes like freshly made here. It tastes it tastes so good. So good. Now you're getting. The food's really. I, I'm. I'm. I approach the food with the intent of I probably won't finish it all, which is good. That's like two meals. When you get two meals out of something that you paid like. More than ten dollars. The quesadilla was only five bucks because they had a special going. That's a big ass quesadilla. That's like monster. So, um, one thing I will say, I've said it before uh, about on this video already, but the, the competition in Mexican food here is fierce, and it's funny because Santa Maria says, "Oh, you think that's good? Everybody has a." Oh, you, yeah, a spot. And they're like, you should try, and there's never a clear winner. But El Pobito's been here a long time, and they are. I did. For obvious reasons, because they're from the bottom. Yeah. They have a good location, too, because right where they're at, like, they're on Blosser, is like, biz it's like business district meets housing. So they're right in the middle of, like, not many other restaurants. There is, like I said, you can walk out, and there are close ones, but. Like some ladies just walked in that probably are doing a business job near the airport. Like they don't look like they're from here at all. Or they must live in one of the new houses in the new housing complex around the corner. So this place will only grow from here. And it's, it's, it, I, it's pretty dang authentic. So, El Pablito. It's one, one of the best in town. I'm not going to say it's the best because like I don't do that for anybody because it starts this whole debate I don't want to get into. But you can't go wrong with coming to El Pablito. It's a higher quality portions and food. Yeah. Like the servers, he's awesome. He's cool. He's on it. Not too chatty like I am. Like I'm super chatty, as you can tell. If you come see me at my place of business, I'll chat you up. Even the manager's like, shut up. But like, because I talk. Like I'm doing now. El Pablito, try it out. Boom. And I swear, Steam. And she does that. She leans back in her chair, and that means like, oh. <laughs> am I that predictable? Yeah. <coughs> I'm on button, and unzip and everything. I'm trying to make as much room as I could. Should wear yoga pants. I should have. I thought about it. Okay. Him love yoga pants. Like four more times, like on the way out the door, even like just to solidify that, like it's like my most commonly like used word. <sighs> I like can't even. Estos bitches. Cause like the lady like totally like I know like I like say like like a lot in like my videos, but like this like lady like was like. I don't even want to keep going because I'm going to drive y'all crazy with like. Language experts say that using a word like like or um excessively when you're talking is a sign of like lower intelligence because you're using it as filler because you can't, your brain can't come up with the right words. 
So when we get lazy, we use like, um, you know, those kinds of things in the conversation. <laughs> so, <coughs> what do they call them? To like, like I'm catching myself doing it. And I'm like, <laughs> damn it. Um, transitional phrasings or whatever to move from one part of the conversation to the next or one topic to the next. But we do it so absentmindedly. And then I hear other people do it. And it like drives me like crazy. Like I can't even. And I go, have I been doing this the whole time to you people watching our videos? How many, I, don't, I do a like counter. My mind's moving a like counter. A similar counter. Like, like or as. No, because then I'm going to just jump off like into the ocean. Like into the ocean. I'm going to want to go up the 166 where it gets real high and just let the car go. I'm going to go off Harris Gray and just vroom, like goodbye. Like goodbye. So, just wanted to like point that out. Like totally. Okay. For your dirty boots. One last. El Pueblito. And it's, you pan out to the, to the right. So it is across from a Walmart on Blosser. Like, it's diagonal for Walmart on Blosser. So if you can't figure that one out. <clears throat> so, come to El Pueblito. Good, good everything. They're very, they're very, very welcoming too. That was something Chile and I considered. It is one thing to go somewhere and they're kind of like, like, who are you? And like, but now they were super cool, like from the get go. So, come on down to El Pueblito, where all your, I don't know how to say dreams in Spanish. I forget. I forget. Anyway, well, anyway, till next time. Deuces and trays. Bye. Keep it easy, my pacos. <laughs> sueños and su sueños. That's it. In su sueños. Like. I didn't even have to Google that either. It just took my brain a second to pull it up out of my database. Oh, oh yeah, because like, like Chicanos would say that to me. I'd be like, eh, and they'd be like, in su sueños. I'm like. That's okay. Him has purple hairs on him now because him's claimed, so he doesn't have to do that. Hairs. Hairs. El pelo. El pelo de, uh, I marked him with my purple hairs. I had to say hairs. purple. Uh, violetas. Violeta. El, el pelos violetas. Los, los, los pelos pelo violetas. Viol pelo violeto. Okay. So that concludes our Spanglish <laughs> lesson. Thank you again. Till next time. Deuce of Chase. I watched like two George Lopez specials back to back yesterday and then I stopped at America's Mexican because I was like, ah, oh, no, I'm done. Because he's like, I'm rich. And he gets angrier as each special goes on. There's like two more after that I didn't watch, and I didn't watch the newest one. That one's on HBO, too. Not that I'm trying to give him publicity, but I want to check it out and see how much he hates Whitey now. He doesn't need publicity. <coughs> Go check out, like, Chad Daniels, Chris D'Elia, like... Dan Cummins. <laughs> Dan Cummins. They need publicity, not George Lopez. Yeah. So, thank you. There's magic in the air